to our day's devotional. If you haven't joined us this week, we are on the week of love and looking at different ways God loves us, we love each other and those around us. Yesterday we spoke about, I think, one of men's greatest needs and, and a woman's greatest need. Men love to be respected and women love to be honored and cherished. But love, what about those relationships or those times which happen when we are not respecting and honoring one another? Well, it's, it's, we have to realize that every healthy couple is going to have conflict because when you have a healthy individual who is able to express his desires and his dreams and likewise from a wife who is healthy in terms of their self-worth and is assertive in how to communicate, there's going to be conflict. So what we do is we encourage couples and D and I do this all the time. If there is conflict and a recurring conflict, I'm not talking about little issues at home, but like a recurring conflict that is really, really irritating and getting to you. We encourage couples is number one, set a time and a place where you can talk about the issue, which means that don't wait for your husband to walk through the front door and then start having a go at him. Sometimes if it's a really big issue, Dio and I will say, listen, let's go to a restaurant because then no cups can fly <laughs> and you are in a public environment. So we just say, set a time and a place. Give the one person who, who needs time to process, tell them, hey, I want to talk to you about an issue tonight at seven o'clock, which gives that person time to reflect and get their heart ready. It also protects children that you're not throwing things or saying things that you wouldn't want children to hear. So we used to do that with our children, say to one another at eight o'clock when the kids are in bed, we will be talking this out. Yeah, and then the second thing is define the pr problem clearly. Don't start at A and end up in Z. <laughs> It's about defining the specific thing that is irritating you or upsetting you or causing conflict. Be specific in terms of what you want to communicate to your partner. Excellent. And then what we do is we, we look at how do we both, not just one person and it's all ammunition, but how do we both bring to the table this problem? How do we both contribute to this problem, which helps us then define this problem? Yeah, because uh, that takes the you always, you always out of the equation because I'm taking responsibility for my part. And then the next step is brainstorm together. Realize that you are a team. So brainstorm together on how you can both take responsibility and resolve the issue. Exactly. And, and throw ideas. It doesn't mean you're right, I'm wrong. You know, bring all the ideas to the table. Don't laugh at them. But look at them and say, well, which one is going to work for us in the next step forward? Yeah, and then that is pick one solution. Try, hey, we're going to pick this one. Both agree on it and say, okay, I'm going to take responsibility for my part in this one solution. And I'm going to do X, Y, and Z. And your partner can then do the same. And this may go for a week or say, I'm going to, we're going to try this for a whole month or three months. And then make a time when you can come together again and see whether it's been working, whether you can reward one another, or whether you've got to go back to the drawing board, as they say. Always remember, you are highly favored and deeply loved.